The HP Omen 15 is back in a big way in 2020 with a redesigned exterior, Ryzen processor, but all of the same mid-size budget pricing that we all love. I've taken the HP Omen and run over 14 benchmark tests to create the ultimate creator-focused review of the HP Omen. We are going to look at 3D modeling, video and photo editing, design, and more. What's wrong with you? Bro, every time without fail, when somebody sends me a contract, they want me to use some, you know, subscription-based software to sign the PDF and then send it back to them. Haven't you ever heard of Wondershare? What? Yeah, it's PDF Element. It's a one-time payment. You can edit PDFs, you can add your signature, you can do all that. Well then, man, go ahead and show me. Yeah, I'll show you. How do you not know this? This video is sponsored by Wondershare, bro. Here I am inside of PDF Element. I can highlight different elements. I can make a comment and I can point an arrow towards the element I'm referring to. And if I want to get really specific, I can even put a rectangle around it just to emphasize it a little more. I can edit the bounding box. I can change the font. I can even change the type size. Regarding the images, I can rotate it and I can even replace it with a brand new image if I want to. I can also add links. So if I want to link to wondershare.com, but the most important thing, and the thing you're referring to, is signing these documents. So you go in, open up the document, click Preview, and then click Sign. Save out a new copy, and you're good to go. Now, there's a whole other host of things you can do inside of PDF Element. And right now, you can even get 50% off. So hurry on over to the link in the description below. As I pulled this laptop out of the box for the first time, I was excited to see a complete redesign of the exterior. No more chintzy plastic gamer aesthetic on the top, although that X design was pretty cool, I must admit, but this look is far superior for the creative professional that wants to be taken seriously in client meetings. The top cover and bottom cover of this laptop are a smooth matte plastic, while the side panels and keyboard deck are aluminum. I am pleased with HP's decision to up their game with the build quality on the HP Omen 15. In the past, I have been hesitant to recommend this laptop due to the clunky plastic build aesthetic, but this is no longer the case with this new build. Great work, HP. The matte finish on the keyboard deck shows minimal fingerprints, which is really nice. Smudges drive me crazy, and I know a lot of you feel the same way. Weighing in at 5.43 pounds and at a thickness of 0.89 inches, it is not the most on-the-go friendly laptop, but it is definitely able to fit into your standard 15-inch laptop backpack. The 70.9 watt hour battery should give you around five and a half to six and a half hours of web browsing battery life and about three to four hours of design and video editing battery life. And this is pretty good and I would say above the standard gaming laptop such as say like the Acer Strix G which gets a little bit less battery life. The port selection on the HP Omen 15 is generous offering the following ports. And like I always mention with the ports is you have to consider your own day-to-day -day workflow. So which ports do you need? If you're a photographer or video editor, then the SD card slot on this laptop will be a big win for you. So as far as creators are concerned with that SD card slot, this may be my new favorite gaming laptop for video editors, but we will have to see how this laptop handles the benchmark tests coming up here in just a few minutes. If you're curious about the exact pricing of the HP Omen, you can head down into the description below and click that link. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. As I open the lid of the HP Omen, I'm greeted by an all aluminum keyboard deck, plus a full HD 15.6 inch 16 by nine display with a refresh rate of 144 Hertz. The hinges are secure and lend only a slight bit of screen flex between the center of the screen. The HP Omen that I'm reviewing has a 60 Hertz refresh rate and can reach 200 nits at full brightness. Now it does have a 66% sRGB, 49% Adobe RGB and 49% DCI-P3. Now you might be saying, well, other reviews online that I've been seeing say this laptop can get 99% sRGB RGB and 75% Adobe RGB. And that is correct if you have the 144 Hertz version of this laptop. So whenever you're purchasing the laptop, make sure you double check the specs in the product description. Now I will try and find the 60 Hertz model that I'm reviewing, but up until this point, I've yet to be able to find that. So I will definitely link as many options as I can find in the description below. Moving down to the aluminum keyboard deck, HP has placed a spacious full-size keyboard on the Omen without a numpad, which makes me very happy because I never use numpads. So personally, they just hog my keyboard space. 
When I started typing on this keyboard for the first time, my wife was working next to me in our office and I turned to her and blurted out, I could literally type on this laptop all day. I feel, feel these keys, please, please feel them. Then I moved on to the trackpad and blurted it out again. And this trackpad, oh my goodness, perhaps it was a little, a little much at the moment, but truly I have yet to ever feel a trackpad and keyboard combo that felt so nice under my fingers on a gaming laptop. When I normally review a laptop, I have expectations that the keyboard will have good key travel, a good trackpad and have nice touch gestures and click sensitivity and yada yada. But I must say, HP really nailed it for me on this one. The keys have a wonderful soft touch matte finish, which complements the smooth, quiet, medium key travel. The trackpad has a matte finish on it as well, and it feels ever so slightly tacky. So as you drag your finger uh, across the trackpad, you feel a satisfying resistance. And I think it would be really nice for creators. Dragging new shapes, conducting edits, and working in apps like Photoshop will be complemented very nicely by this trackpad. And I don't wanna like overhype it, but I will say I really enjoyed this trackpad. Um, and it's been one that really stuck out to me in a lot of the different laptops that I've reviewed over the past year. Okay, I'll pause on geeking out so you can listen to me typing and using the trackpad. Here you go. This laptop does come with a 720p webcam, so you won't miss out on those crucial virtual meetings if the need arises. The HP Omen has excellent ventilation on the keyboard deck, behind the keyboard deck, bottom cover, and right side panel. These vents are able to cool this laptop well during the test coming up in just a few minutes. But since we are talking about it, I'll show you the thermal results of this laptop right now. So you know how everyone has been hating on the Asus Tough A15 for its cooling issues? Well, HP Omen took that same processor and made it vastly cooler. So if you wanna check out all of the head-to-head -head laptop reviews I've put together with the HP Omen, including the Tough A15, they will be linked up in the YouTube cards above once they are available. Now, if you're enjoying this video and getting some value, gently press down on that like button and let me know how you plan on using this laptop by dropping a comment below. If you want more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future uploads. All right, let's get back into the video. Now that we have gone through all of the details concerning the build and usability of this laptop, let's dive into the performance specs. The HP Omen I'm reviewing comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 4800H with eight cores and 16 threads. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti with six gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and 256 gigs of solid state hard drive. Let's take a second before we get into the benchmark results to see how well the components were utilized during these tests. Here's those results. Kicking things off with the benchmark test, let's take a look at the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark to see how well this laptop can handle the most intense tool of Adobe's design suite. If a laptop can perform well in Photoshop, it can handle InDesign and Illustrator with ease. In the Photoshop benchmarks, the HP Omen is sitting in the mid-range of my test results chart, coming out with a 579 on the Photoshop benchmark score. Definitely a suitable laptop for Photoshop tasks. You can also use this reference if you're considering other design or photography focused software, such as Affinity Photo, Sketch, and Figma. Now that we know this laptop can handle the Adobe Design Suite, let's check out how it can handle motion design inside of After Effects. The HP Omen is pulling off a 744 in the After Effects Puget Systems benchmark test. And for the After Effects render test, it is snagging a score of 498. Compared to some of the other laptops on my chart, it falls just below the middle of the road, but still an excellent render score for this laptop. In Geekbench single core and multi-core, the HP Omen handled itself well, attaining a 1,190 on the single core benchmark, placing it in the middle range of the test results. And for the multi-score, it was able to pull off a 7,946, which places it in the top three results along with the other Ryzen processors, which are beasts at multitasking. Moving into the 3D modeling benchmarks, let's take a look at Cinebench R20. 
Once again, the HP Omen topped the charts with a score of 4,546. And as requested, here are the 3D modeling benchmarks. And if you have any more requests for 3D modeling tests you want me to run, please let me know. I'm happy to include them in future reviews if possible. For Autodesk 3DS Max, it received a 131.45. For Autodesk Maya, it received a 154.32. For PTC Creo, it received a 116.63. And for SolidWorks, a 69.06. For the Blender Classroom benchmark, the HP Omen was able to complete that test using the GPU in just 5 minutes and 41 seconds. Now onto my favorite portion of the benchmark test, video editing in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. First I'm going to start off with a playback test. For this test, I'm going to take a 9 minute 4K clip, adding some motion graphics and then playing it back in the timeline at full quality. This clip contains 16,177 frames in total with 7,240 of those being motion graphics. During the test, the HP Omen saw drop frame rates as follows. For full quality, 1,185 drop frames. For half quality, 126 drop frames, and for fourth quality, zero dropped frames. I will note that this test was running with only Premiere Pro open. So if you start multitasking on this laptop while editing, you may experience more drop frames at full quality, but you can easily drop it down to half or fourth quality to keep your editing experience smooth. To render out the 7,240 frames of motion design, in the project, it took 3 minutes and 45 seconds, which is a great time for this Ryzen 7 GTX 1660 Ti equipped laptop. Moving on to the 4K export test, I'm going to take a 9 minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve using the free version of Resolve, then export both at 1080p and 4K YouTube settings. For Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export, it took 4 minutes and 13 seconds, and for the Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p export, it took 3 minutes and 14 seconds. For DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export, it took 9 minutes and 3 seconds. And for the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p export, it took 4 minutes and 21 seconds. Earlier, we took a look at the thermals and component usage of this laptop, but no review would be complete without checking into the noise that this laptop produces while running these programs and benchmarks. At idle, there was no fan noise out of the HP Omen. Now, they're kicked on occasionally for web browsing at about 45 decibels, and for Photoshop, it was from 45 to about 61 decibels, depending on the task it was running. For the Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export, it had 59 decibels, and for the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export, we saw 65 decibels. I will say that this laptop can get pretty noisy, and it produces a slight coil whine from the cooling system, depending on the frequency it is hitting while running the cooling system. But referring back to the previous cooling test, as you can see, it keeps the thermals in check. For the amount of power this laptop pushes out, it is quite impressive how cool it can stay. So if you're looking for a mid-range Ryzen 7 4800H laptop with an aluminum keyboard deck, fast export times while video editing, impressive 3D modeling and motion design results, runs exceptionally cool while performing tasks, has the most enjoyable keyboard and trackpad that I have ever used on a gaming laptop, and has a wide variety of ports for creative professionals, including an SD card slot, then I would highly consider the HP Omen 15 as your choice for a Ryzen laptop with great performance and runs cool compared to that A15 and all the hype and frustration we heard recently. All right, if you're curious about the exact prices of the HP Omen 15, you can head down in the description below and click that link. If you do make a purchase there, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want the head-to-head -head reviews of the HP Omen, you can click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I will see you here in the next video.